As we move through the month of August, we're obviously getting closer to uh, sale dates for calves that will be weaning this late summer and into the fall period. If you're one of those that is looking at the possibility of selling your springborn calves in a value-added calf sale, I really think you want to be paying close attention to uh, the weaning dates that will be required for those value-added calf sales. Most value-added calf sales will require the calves be weaned a minimum of 45 days. And to some producers, they may wonder, why? Why do we have to have them weaned that long? Wouldn't a shorter time frame do just the same? Well, again, let's go back to the research and take a look. Iowa State did a study over a nine-year period of time, 2,000 head of calves that they had enrolled in, in one of their feedlot test programs and they monitored, among other things, how well the calves did depending upon how long they had been weaned before they were shipped to the feedlot. They basically broke the group down for statistical purposes into calves that had been weaned 30 days or less or longer than 30 days. What they found was those two groups had a substantial difference in health once they got to their destination. 28% of the calves that had been weaned less than 30 days showed some signs of sickness and had to be treated once they got to the feedlot. Less than half of that, 13% of the calves that had been weaned longer than 30 days was all that needed to be treated. But the story doesn't stop there. As they examined how many of these calves needed to have not only one, two, but three treatments in order to get over the disease, they found that those calves that were shipped less than 30 days, there was 6% of those that required three treatments or more, where only 1% of the calves that were weaned after 30 days re required three or more treatments. In fact, as they look back, those calves that were weaned less than 30 days had as many uh, treatments in order to get over whatever morbidity they had as did calves that were were weaned on the trailer on the way to town. So I think you can see from this big data set that calves need to be weaned more than 30 days. So that's why that 45 is a real good number to assure that these calves are ready to go before they're shipped through the marketing system and on to either a wheat pasture or into a feedlot. That's why those buyers are willing to pay more, pay a premium for calves that have been through one of these VAC 45 programs. I encourage you to go to the SUNUP website, sunup.okstate.edu, look under show links. We've got a link there to the OQBN website, and it's got all the sale dates and the corresponding weaning dates for those sales coming up this fall, and other information to help you understand the Value Added Calf program. I think that that's something that you want to consider as you're marketing those calves this fall. We look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.